Hola amigos, Jim and Mai here from Spanish and Go, your resource for learning real world travel Spanish. Today we're checking out Rincón. That's right, we're gonna go there and show you some cool things to do in the town. So let's go check it out. Vámonos. ¿Hace calor aquí o qué? Un montón. <laughs> pues vamos. Oh, perdón. Before going to Rincón, we're going to stop at Mr. Special because we have to um, recycle some plastic. So, vamos a enseñarte. ¿Estás lista? Sí. Vamos. Vamos. So, Mai, what do you know about Rincón? I know that a lot of people go there for surfing because it has many beautiful beaches. And I think it's more common to see people surfing there during the winter because the waves are bigger uh, than now in the summer. But yeah. So, what do you know about Rincón? I know there's a lot of gringos there, but a lot of people give it rave reviews, so we wanted to show some of it to you guys. All right, we just got to Rincón. We are near downtown, and now what? Today is Thursday, and there's something really cool happening, so vamos a ver. This is kind of cool. There's a Campo de Baseball right near downtown. It's still fascinating to me how popular baseball is here compared to a lot of other parts of the U.S. This is Parque Rafael Riviera Romero. Romero. Let's try that again. What is this place? Parque Rafael Rivera Romero. There we go. It sounds like a tongue twister. It does. Parque Rafael Rivera Romero. And if you don't know how to roll your R's, we have a video for that. <laughs> That's right, we do. The street signs are really cool looking here. Check this out. Tienen el faro y una ballena y como una islita o un volcán. ¿Qué será? El triangulito. Yo creo que es la isla. Sí, sí. Van a ver la isla. We're going to show you. There's a little island right off of Puerto Rico here. It's not La Isla Mona. There's another one, and we're not sure the name of it. So. Oh, we read it. I forgot. We'll put it somewhere here. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estamos? Muy bien, muy bien. ¡Qué vacaciones! No, vivo aquí. ¿O vive aquí? Bueno, bueno, no en Rincón, en Boquerón. ¿O oh, Boquerón? Sí, ajá. ¿De dónde es usted? De aquí mismo, Rincón. ¿En Rincón? Oh. Soy nacido y criado aquí en Rincón. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y qué vende? Aquí vendo muchas cosas. Esto aquí, mira. Esos son unos trucos, mira. ¿Tú ves esa, esos cinco tornillos roca ahí? Sí. Tengo esa de muestra. Y esto pues, es que la gente lo coge, come roca de ese tornillo. En esa botella, ponerlo en el boquete ah. y enrollarlo que te quede como está eso. Wow. <ríe> ¿Quieres intentarlo? Con ah. la terapia. Oh, se, ve, <ríe> se, se ve muy ah, difícil. Esos son trucos. Ah, oh, wow. Entonces, sí, mira. puedo intentar. Ah, ¿cómo no? A ver. El único sitio donde no se cobran por la terapia. Okay. Y no sale, no se sale si lo abres. No, lo hizo todo sacar. por mira, adentro. Mira, te voy a decir, mira. Yo sé que hacerlo dentro del... Wow. O for, formó la botella con fuego. <risa> Después... 
Mira, aquí hay otro más, mira. ¿Cómo sacar de esa argollita de ese cordón? No tiene que soltar nada de eso. Son trucos. Ah, ok. Entonces, hay una forma de quit quitar este. Eso sale de ahí. Probándole la inteligencia. ¿Ah? Esto que parece tan sencillo. Está difícil. Sí, está súper difícil. Yo creo que lo hice peor. <risa> ya lo enredó. Yo no sé. Me doy por vencido, sí. Claro. Pero usted hace cada, cada cosa aquí a mano. Sí, esto Son artesanales. Ah, oh, wow. Este otro, mira. Ah. Hay varios gringos alternativos aquí. So it's about five o'clock now and the art walk officially starts at six. So Maya and I are gonna kill some time by checking out a local brewery. Let's go check it out. So right across from the plaza is Rincón Beer Company. We're gonna go get a drink. Vamos a ver qué hay. Enjoy. All right, thanks. All right, Mai, what did you get? I don't know because you ordered for me. <laughs> Mai got a pale ale. Ah, uh, yeah. And I've got a porter here. Even though it's super hot, I love dark beer, so uh, this is this is good for me. Yeah. Salud. Salud. Mm. Perfect. I'm melting. This is good. <laughs> Not, not exactly a light beer, which I wasn't expecting one from a porter, but it's tasty. You want to try? Oh, wow. Me gusta mucho. All right, guys, so we just had a couple of local beers. Mine was from Bocaron. I don't remember if mine was from here or from our town, but the two 12 ounce beers ended up being 1305 total. That's before tip. So now we're gonna go check out a couple other places before the sun sets. <laughs> La fiesta ya está empezando. But now it's time for us to show you a few other things in Rincón. Está chévere la guava. Okay, so right now we are in Steps Beach. This is part of a reserve, a natural reserve called Reserva Tres 
Palmas. This is a natural reserve that includes three very popular beaches. One of them is Dogman's Beach. The other one is Little Malibu and this one right here, Steps Beach. The name is very funny for me. Steps Beach. There's, there's a few steps here. <laughs> yeah, it is strange. To name the whole beach off of this little cement block. But it's a really nice place. A lot of families come here for snorkeling right now when the the waves aren't too big there's a lot of opportunities in this area for snorkeling so if you're here in the summer you should check it out okay so not only is it strange that they call this steps beach but where did the steps come from isn't that kind of weird? Like, they just wash up on shore. There's cement heavy steps. Like, they couldn't have come from a boat. Who would put cement steps on a boat? Anyway, they named the whole beach after it. But we've been here before. We have. This was a place where we experienced the hottest day of our life. Both of ours. Yes. Yours too. Yeah, it was excruciating. I'd never felt heat like that before. It was insane. Like, you couldn't even put your feet in the sand because it felt like you're gonna suffer like third degree burns. It was terrible. It was like in the in the middle of August. Yeah. So. But fortunately, there's a little uh, puesto, a little kiosco, a stand where you can get like fresh coconut water and I think some snacks. Yeah, it's closed right now, but um, we're gonna go show you another cool place to check out here in Rincón. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, in just about three minutes driving, we have arrived in El Faro de Punta Higueras in El Parque Pasivo. Maya and I were here the other day and we got some ice cream and the sun is just starting to set. So we're going to show you guys what there is to do here. So this faro right here is almost 100 feet tall and it's been automated since 1933 and still serves as a functioning faro, that's the lighthouse, for boats on the way to the mainland from Isla Mona. And when I say mainland, I mean the mainland of Puerto Rico because there's a whole bunch of islands apart from the main island of Puerto Rico. Now this is the perfect place to watch the sunset. A lot of people come here to do picnics at this time of the day um, and just to relax here. It's really cool and calm. There's not a lot of people, although we just um, heard there's a party bus arriving, but it's usually full of families, um, kids playing. You can have an ice cream here and it's it's a really nice spot. We really like it here. We want to show you another very cool place here in Rincón. It's a beach not too far from the Faro. So we're going to go check it out now. We have arrived at Playa Domes. We're going to show you around. This is one of our favorite spots here in Rincón. This beach is probably the most famous surf beach in all of Puerto Rico. 
Domes Beach got its name from the dome structure of the inactive Bonus nuclear reactor nearby. So these were just a few of the best things to do in Rincon, or at least some of our favorite things to do here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and Spanish tips. And remember, el camino es el destino. The journey is the destination. Nos vemos pronto. Adios.